So can you speak a little bit to, you know, how the identifying the conversation and listening for that ideal client profile or, or the, the client fit serves uh, this generative business development conversational process? Yeah, I, I, I love that question. And, and Dwayne, jump in um, as, as, as you'd like, but we find that so so a lot of times we work with people who already have a business they already have a practice there or they already have a, a book of business and um and again the common way that we look at our um at our at our clients is usually demographically like we work with large um organizations in the industrial sector and down the line, which is helpful, I guess, you know, at a certain point in the, in the, um, uh, in the process. But what, what we've learned is that um, if you've already had the experience of having clients that have been um, great, great testimonials for you because they've achieved what they set out to achieve with your help, and they um, and and they feel um, and you feel that I'm going to step back a bit. And you you they have been profitable for you, so it's been it's been a mutually satisfactory um, situation. If if you can identify what what it is about those people that made it such a good business. Mm -hmm. And you focus your efforts, not only personally, like outbound marketing, outreach and things like that, but also through your network, if you can make it really clear to your network, then the whole business of developing new business, again, becomes very focused, very efficient. These are the kind of people that tend to do really well with our help. Um, some people kick and scream when they come to the program. They say, oh, no, but I, 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 I will work with, with anybody. And that's, that's usually the, the, the red flag. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Why? Because it's expensive for both you and the other person. Right. Um, yeah, so the, I know, uh, Dwayne, you have, a lot, you have a lot to say about that. And I so the, uh, the, 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 the piece about the ideal client profile, where that came from was a natural question from a client that said, I wanna work with more salespeople like this one particular person. And as we were talking with this person, it, it occurred to us that, oh, it works the other way around too. Because salespeople always, uh, and, and uh, coaches, people always come up and say, I wish I had more clients like this one. And so the natural question is, well, what do you like about that person? Well, in order to get there, you have to be a little personal oh, I'd like them to be like this and like this and have this area and, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and when you do find, when you can go beyond the demographic and the industrial and the what kind of field they're in and all that kind of stuff and identify the person, uh, it's the end of cold calling. Mm. Because your outreach becomes targeted to those who are already listening. And it's a whole lot easier if you've got great peanut butter to start talking to somebody who loves great peanut butter. It's a whole lot easier. And the other piece of that is when it came time for using what we call, we, we help people in the system turn out uh, networks of help. So we introduced the concept of network of help. And one of the things that we see happening often is people ask their network of help for referrals. And that is a trigger for most people. And the other one is, do we know anybody who can help us with this, you know, whatever it is that we're doing? Instead of asking for, do you know of a person who matches and you tell them your perfect client fit? And our experience is once you've done that, the people in your network of help go, oh, no, I know like five people like that. Mm. So just by identifying who you enjoy working with 
instead of oh, they've got to be in this sector and they've got to be this because that fits my you know my offer no even corporations when they come in and say uh, i'll have uh, clients who will come in and say well our corporation says we have to work with everybody who's in these kinds of fields and i go great but inside that field there's a person that you like working with that when you hit that and they like working with you who is that and what i love about that is that i what you're yeah. offering is people can choose Yes, And I think that that's something that that's a big blind spot for people is that, mm -hmm. you know, people are working so hard and it's like, if, if we focus on building relationships and identifying specifically the types of relationships we want to build, we can actually, we can do that. 